This is the 15th review of the week. I've done three reviews a day, Monday through Friday. Well, almost three reviews a day. This is the third review of the day for me. So let's get to it. This is yet another one from Zenpop. Go to zenpop.jp and use the coupon code The Ramen Raider for a discount. This is Daikoku Kinemochi Ramen. So what do we got here? We got the noodle block. Bloop. Now, I'm hoping this works. I am hoping it works. I don't, I've never really had much luck with uh, mochi ramen um you get mochi ramen in a couple different ways you can have it where they put mochi in the noodle to make it more springy and stuff or you can get it where it has a block of mochi and it never seems to want to come out right but we will endeavor to get it to do so here is what Stir in there a little bit. I want to make sure that mochi, when it comes out, looks all fancy, fancy. Here's what the mochi looks like, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's it's pretty, pretty unforgiving. It's hard as a rock, but we will give it a good, a good try to get it to do as it purportedly should it should end up like a flavorless block of mozzarella basically <laughs> same kind of consistency just kind of like a gooey cheese like substance yeah, here we go and yeah i'm gonna drop that right there on top da -da 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 -da. I know it needs three minutes. And I need a new thingy there. But, uh, where did I put that? There it is. Slap a lid on it and let it sit. So, yeah, this is the first time in a while that I've cranked out 15 reviews in a week. Uh, I'm really happy about that and I think I might go through the weekend too. It's nice clearing out because I've got like so much backlog of ramen to sample. I just got another box from Zen Pop the other day and that's seven more of them. I've done six of them in the last two days and those were from the January box I think so yeah and the one that I've got sitting over there is the February box and there's a lot of neat stuff in there. There's a, it's like all, like, the idea is it's the Valentine-themed box, so. We shall see how that goes forward. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. It's nice to be able to get stuff done. But, God, it's been like, since January 9th, it's just been a shit show here, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, yeah. Hey Mimi, you want to say hi to the nice people? I don't think she does. She doesn't feel good. She got her second shot yesterday. She was supposed to get it. Got... Oh, here she is. I have a brand new nail cabinet and I have a unicorn. Yay! You got your shot, huh? Yeah. Is it sore? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'll be all right. Yeah. You will win. Okay, I love you. you need a hug? Wow. Go have a seat, have fun. Yeah, I could definitely tell she didn't feel good this morning. Her arm is really sore and she's like, ah. But it's a uh, conference week for the chillings. So, extra short day for my son. Nothing for my daughter. Yeah. 
So, I wonder if this mochi is working at all. It's always just like come out. Like, oh, that's not done. <laughs> it's not right. And I never see anything as far as instructions on like how to make make it come out better. I don't like that. I want it to come out perfectly. Perfectly. Like a gooey, gloppy, wonderful yum yum. But it's tricky to get that to happen. So we'll see how that goes. But it's almost time. Wow, look at that. Whispering. You can call me the 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 ramen alarm whisperer. I knew it. I could feel it. I could smell it. Yeah, let's see how this fared. Oh wow! Did all right. That's pretty floppy. Okay, I'm I'm happy with that. I can live with that. So let's put this stuff in here. Ah. See, it kind of looks just like a piece of cheese. Oh, look at all that seaweed. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh wow, I didn't see that. There's like a ton of little tiny micro Naruto's hanging out in here. I'll show you what I mean. They don't want to stick to the side of the pot. There's one. There's one. There's one. Okay, so let's give this stuff a try. I know what the the mochi is gonna be like. It should just be just like a chewy, funky, not much, but it goes well with the noodle. Here's the broth. Very salty. Kelp, seaweed, yeah, okay. The noodle. Ugh, way too salty. Standard Daikoku fare, I generally, there might be one or two Daikoku varieties that I've had that I can kinda tolerate, but generally, I can't stand it. I guess I should, I guess I could do this. Let me get some of this mochi and see if it came out really well. So there you have it. It looks like a piece of like Velveeta. Mm-hmm. That worked. Okay. I will give it that. Kind of bubblegummy, flavorless, but a neat texture thing. There's a lot of things that you'll find in uh, Japanese ramen that are just basically about texture, like uh, flower foo, little flower shaped bready things. They don't really taste like anything. They just soak up broth and kind of have a interesting flavor taste, or uh, yeah, they soak up the broth. I tell you, it's fun. Um, spring onion. Right there. Sprout, right there. Uh, regular seeds. I was gonna put an egg on, but there's just really no room. Uh, a little dusting of shichimi. Uh, 
That's good. Yeah, when it comes to this Diet Coke stuff, I'm a really tough customer. I just, I just don't. It's just got too much saltiness, and it just, it's really boring. So, anyways, Rotato. This has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. I have. And I'll uh, catch you on the flip side. Have a good one. Bye bye. Happy Friday. Do you have a long term health problem? No. Do you have any allergies? No. Have you received any vaccinations in the last four weeks? No. Do you have a neurologic disorder? No. Do you have an immune system condition? No. Do you take steroids? No. During the past year, have you received a blood transfusion or antibodies? No. Sign here, please.